Hello everyone and welcome to Christmas, which is Tuesday. Because it's a Tuesday, and once we establish something, we never, ever, ever break it. We did breakfast stream. We did it at my parents' house, which honestly was was better because since it is Christmas stream, um, having this backdrop is, is so much more festive and nice than uh, our house, which is not decorated for the holidays. So uh, we set everything up here on the table. Um, we had been up uh, late uh, last night, and we actually, it took us a while to get moving this, this morning, and we got over here a little bit late. So the stream, the stream started mostly on time, actually. It was like, I think, I think we went live around 9. It's just normally we go live at like 8.50, and we have a countdown, and this morning we went live at 9. And the countdown was only three minutes, just to give us enough time to get everything settled. But, um, yeah, we, we did stream. It was an hour long. Um, I knew it was going to be a long one anyway, but we had to have it that long um, just because there was there's so many um, alerts. There was so much support from everyone this morning, which was incredible. And we sincerely appreciate it. Uh, it certainly made the start of our day uh, really special and fun, so thanks. And it was also fun to do it over here. I was worried because we hadn't tested it ahead of time. And... Uh, you know, this morning I tore down the equipment at home and I was like, man, I'll just grab that cable. So we have that 100-foot <laughs> Ethernet cable, um, you know, attached to their modem running all the way out here so we could do the stream. And it worked really well. Hey, it, uh, the good news is at least I know if we ever want to do it over here again, we can. You know, there's nothing like stopping us. But uh, Mom's been working on food. There's all sorts of stuff around and there's two... Uh, uh, animals. There's uh, turkey and <laughs> I couldn't take. It's too early. Don't use that word. That's the reason she's yeah, my mom's a vegetarian, so she's like, don't use that word. Um, ham and turkey. Uh, actually, I know my mom uh, already cooks. You know more than. Uh, than necessary at holidays, but she's actually cooking uh, even more than that because we're going to have so many people over here tomorrow night helping us eat leftovers. Tomorrow is also the start of ChefCon. We're going to have Chaz and Jeff and Paul and Alex and Haley and Dan and Thomas and Brittany. Yeah. yeah. Um, or Thomas and Brittany won't be here tomorrow night. They'll William just be here. Huh? William. Yeah, uh, William's going to be here, I think, too. So we're going to have quite a few folks. Um, helping us eat this food, so hopefully we'll be able to get through it, and I guess that does maybe justify cooking more, but uh, I don't know. Mom cooks for so many people. There's always so much food. And of course, we got uh, we got Rocco here too. He's enjoying the, the whole family being here. Hey, buddy. Hi, sweetie. He's a good boy. And uh, there are so many, so many gifts, and I, I did not ask for anything for Christmas. Except for nuts. I was, I was asked... Oh, now I forgot the nuts. <laughs> I, was, I was asked, I'm asked every year, Stephen, what do you want for Christmas? And... Nuts. Usually, actually, um, in the last, the last several years, I've always said nuts. And this year, I actually changed it because I, I've always said I've wanted nuts, and I like to sit around and crack nuts. And this was the first year where I said, I, I, I want all my nuts pre-cracked. <laughs> If I can, I want to just eat nuts because um, it's too time consuming now to crack the nuts. I want to save on the nut cracking time. So just nuts I can eat. So that's the only thing I ask for, for for Christmas. So unless all of these are nuts, which I suspect they're not, then I have no idea what's uh, what's in any of this. But um, I'm I'm actually <laughs> I'm still a little tired. We have we have. Uh, we kind of left the house in a hurry to, to grab all the the stuff necessary to uh, run breakfast stream. So I think we actually we have to run back over to the house to pick up some stuff we left. Um, I may take a brief nap before we continue on with today's festivities, uh, just because I'm I'm still I'm actually still quite tired from not getting quite enough sleep last night. So I took a nap and uh, 
food took a little bit, so we decided to actually just to eat first. So we're sitting down to eat. We'll do presents later. They're still sitting over there. It's fine. We'll get. We'll, they haven't left. The, some of them did. We saw some of them get up and walk away. But look at look at all this food. Now remember, some of this food is going to get eaten tomorrow too, because Chad, Jeff, Paul, Alex, Haley, Dan, William, other folks are are going to be here. Did you see how many mashed potatoes there? Ten pounds. There. Ten pounds. Well, there will be five left tomorrow. I plan on eating half of that today. All right. I'm so excited. And we have we have two meats. That doesn't happen usually, but I'm I'm pumped about it. I'm probably just going to mostly focus on the ham though. Cuz we had uh turkey at Thanksgiving. Everything looks great. Good job. Thank you. You did you did incredible. <laughs> you did really incredible, and I can't wait to eat it all. Rocco, are you ready to open presents? You don't. You don't seem very ready to open presents. You seem. This is his tree. You seem kind of tired. I mean, to be fair, um, I I think we were, we were talking about. It, I think this actually is the latest we've ever opened gifts on Christmas. Mm -hmm. um, Christmas is always like an early morning thing. It is now 6 p.m. and we are finally getting around to to gifts. But um, I think it's fine. It's a nice change. Look, it's like dark outside. It's it's like mood lighting. That's a good thing. I don't think it's a bad thing at all. I think it's a good change. It's a nice year for change. Uh, Mel? Yeah. Do you want to open a g gift? I got to open one already. You did? Yeah, the one from my mom. Because we did the video chat. Oh, yeah. Earlier, earlier, um, Mel had a video chat with her mom. And you had a gift, and you opened it. And I had a gift, too. It was, I got, um, some really cool socks. They were Tootsie Rolls. I mean, they, they weren't Tootsie Roll. They were socks. They were socks that had them on it. it. It's not like giant Tootsie Rolls you put on your feet. Although that seems like a good idea, too. Um, all right. Well, some here's probably for you. None of these, apparently. These all have my name on them. This one has my name on it. Oh, okay. You you do have a gift for Christmas. Huh? Is there an order I should be opening things? Yeah, because I don't even remember what's in them boxes. Okay. Wow, Santa. What did you do? Okay, what the th whatever you just did is not acceptable. This isn't for heads; it's for packages. Ooh, are these bath bombs? Mm -hmm. hmm. Have you ever wanted to throw a grenade at your tub? Boom! Not quite how that works, Stephen. Are you sure? You can also use them in the sink to wash your hands. Um, if you if you want a really exciting hand washing adventure. <gasps> oh, I don't know what it is. This is moisturizing cream and a face cleaner. Oh, see, based on the shape, I thought it was those um, those glazed peanuts you get in the mall around Christmas. Yes, just one. But I thought that was weird because someone would have given me. Yeah, I thought you know that'd kill you. I hope that was something that was okay to shake because I shook it. <gasps> Smash Brothers. And also some gift cards to the eShop and the Smash Brothers GameCube controller. Smash Brothers, that song's been stuck in my head really bad. Thank you. Mal, this one's for me. Yeah? Do you know what it is? No. Honestly, like, no. I, I, I really have no idea. Merry Christmas, it's a box. Just one. You can put smaller boxes inside it. Is that what's in here? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, what is it? What is it? She sh what is it though? <laughs> so they might be giant shirts. <laughs> You've talked about liking the shirt and wanting the shirt. I thought it was good. My name is Doctor Worm. I'm not a real doctor, but I am a real worm. I like to play the drums. That's where he is in the Venn diagram. It's a good shirt. We're also finishing up um, some of the uh, advent calendar boxes that were sent in by folks. This is uh, the, the final package from uh, Calvin and Bick. So let's open this up along with all the other fun Christmas stuff and see. <laughs> I don't know what this is. Like, and I don't even know what this could possibly be. All I know is that I can see Tacosaurus Rex on the sides, and I'm really curious to find out what that is. Oh my lord, this is the most, 
bizarre thing I've ever seen. It's designed to hold your tacos. Oh my goodness. While you create them. It's that a, is clever. It's a dinosaur that holds your tacos while you make your tacos. Anyway, this is cute. And uh, it seems like a good option when you need to hold your tacos. So, Kevin and Vic, thank you. And Merry Christmas. I appreciate it. You're rolling that one around. It made noise. This one's to both of us. All things, all things make noise if you shake them hard enough. This is for both of us. Oh. Oh? Oh. Oh, oh. You should oh. recognize that noise. Uh, golf balls. Yes. I've needed new golf balls for all the golfing I've done this year. <gasps> oh! Those are going to get drank because that's what you do to them. The uh, noise. I did not put two and two together. My first thought was golf balls. I, I did find it odd that we would receive a pack of 72 golf balls. Um, but I just thought maybe you wanted me to take up something new. Now the clubs are in there somewhere. <laughs> are, they, are they short clubs? <laughs> just, <laughs> they're miniature golfing clubs. Yeah, they spam when you pull them out of the box. Oh, you just add water or something. Yeah. This is so heavy. This also is from Santa. And uh, this is... It's hard to it's hard to put into words exactly how heavy this package is. It does not give off the impression that a box of this particular size should be this heavy. Burritos. Fresh I'm, burritos. Fresh burritos. Ooh, look at this. Ooh, this is exciting. Supreme honey mustard. Woba's finest. The views in nights eight oh five. Also, um, pecan honey mustard or pecan, depending on where you're from. I'm already excited. I, th this, there's a theme here. Uh, I'm not sure. This is extra hot mustard. I'm down for that. Oh, these are all very exciting. And then balsamic vinegar mustard. And there's more. <laughs> Emerald's kicked up horseradish, which I appreciate. And then also, uh, Dusseldorf. Dusseldorf style mustard product of Germany. I love mustards. Um, so this is actually, this is fantastic. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to have to get some pretzels so I can eat all these mustards. There's a few years ago that um, uh, Rhonda actually did something similar where she got me a bunch of like various mustards and I loved it. Oh, I loved it so much. Uh, mustards are delicious. There's a bunch of different kinds. If you are out there and you're like, I don't like mustard and you're thinking of yellow mustard, Guess what? Expand your scope, because there's more mustards, and they're good. And cheese, too. Really yeah. Good. And pickles. Cheese and pickles, yeah. Mm-hmm. Do-do-do-do. Oh, it's a box. Do-do-do-do. It's... <gasps> cordial cherries! Mallory loves cordial cherries! I really love cordial cherries, and they're dark chocolate ones. Ooh. These are the best. Well, you enjoy them. I will. All to yourself. And soft without socks. Without me. Feel the socks. Oh, those are soft. Mm hmm. I don't feel like those should legally be allowed to be socks. It's like a blanket. And whipped honey with chocolate. What? That would be good on toast. Whipped honey. With chocolate. So it's like Nutella, maybe? Interesting. I have never heard of such a thing. And this is. A wine decanter and stopper. So like if you break the cork or lose the cap if it's a screw top. Oh, that's neat. It's pretty. This is a bag from Santa. Santa gave me what looks to be the world's largest dice bag. I'm not sure. Um, oh, hey! Well, that's convenient. I've got pretzel sticks, which are going to be enjoyed uh, very quickly with all of these mustards. That's that's the way I really like to, to try out different mustards. And these are honey wheat. I don't, I don't know if I've ever had honey wheat pretzels. And they're braided, too. These are interesting pretzels. These aren't just like your normal, like, rolled, ro rolled gold fare. But there is rolled gold in here. So if you want the classic, the classics in here as well, and a pound, this is a pound of pretzels. That's dangerous. That's very dangerous for me. Thank you. Uh, also in here, 
Oh my goodness, they get bigger. First they were twisty, then they were thin, and now they're the big ones. These are good too. Depending on the size you want. <laughs> yeah. There's no wrong way to put uh, pretzel in a mustard. I think that was a famous catchphrase in the 80s. What is this? There's smoked almonds. California grown almonds or almonds. There's also <laughs> unsalted mixed nuts. I did say I wanted nuts. Unsalted mixed nuts. Oh, there's a lot of, there's a lot of, oh my lord. Bourbon barbecue sweet and tangy, smoky mozzarella, cheesy smoke goodness, and butter toffee crunchy sweetness. Okay, the one thing I did say I wanted for Christmas was nuts, and it looks like I got plenty of nuts. Look at them nuts! Look at all those nuts! This is to both of us from Dad. <gasps> What's in it? I don't know. What'd you put in there? Oh, look how cute it is! Oh my goodness! It's a Charlie Brown tree. Aw, oh, that's great. He knows you like refrigerator magnets. Uh huh. We do. Aww. We have a ton of them. This is officially my favorite refrigerator magnet. Thank you. I can't wait to put it. I can't wait to put it on the fridge, and I can't wait for everyone to see it starting tomorrow and be like, "Oh man, like that's some of your dad's art." That's awesome. Thank you. We're also opening uh, Patrick's things from the advent calendar box. And there's uh, there's two things here. Boxes. Uh, it could be like ones for me, ones for you. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. You'll find out when you open them. <gasps> Look. The Oregon Trail. The card <laughs> the, game. The board. Well, I was gonna say the board game, but yeah, the They're card the card, card game. Interesting. This is hunt for food, and then this must be the first one. Cool. <laughs> you have died of dysentery. I didn't know that that was a... A board game card game? Yeah. Yeah, I Tabletop. I'll just say tabletop game. Yeah. Because I always want to say board game, but really it could be either. And inside and the other number thing... Number two is... Oh! <laughs> a party game. I was ha looking at this in Target. Happy little accidents. Mm -hmm. It looks Aww. like you draw a squiggle, and then you have a card, and you, ha you roll a dice, and whatever it lands on, you have to draw, turn the squiggle into a... A whatever. So you said it's Bob Ross? Yeah. It's happy oh, cool. little accidents. Oh, yeah. Cool. It's a Bob Ross board game. Inside mm -hmm. this, oh lord, I'm set. I'm set for a while. We got a big old stack of, uh, uh, I can't, I got, the only word I can come up with is mustard. This is not mustard. Deodorant. Deodorant. It's on the, I was, I was like, please be on here. Please, what is this called? Deodorant. Uh, you should, probably shouldn't eat these. Um, and we've also got a face wash and a shampoo! And these last for like six months, so I'm gonna be set for a long time. Thank you. Thank you. I, uh, I actually was just about out of the Christmas stash of deodorant. I had like two left. So, this is, this is good timing. What's this one, Mal? Oh! Cassette tapes. No, um, we were in World Market a while ago and I had pointed out these because I thought thought they were really cool. They're like little samplers of different spices. So there's like Honest um, to God, I thought those Egyptian, were lip lip balls. And like here's herbs de Provence and like there's a Moroccan seasoning and Chinese five spice. So they're like different spice blends from all over the world. And that is cool. Isn't that really neat? Yeah. They're like little it's also Chapstick containers. Yeah, I thought so it was cute. Yeah, I thought it was lip balm and I was thinking, why do you why would someone want like to make and jerk lip balm? Yeah, j <laughs> that seems like you don't want that. Um maybe you do. But I'm I'm yeah, I'm far more excited about uh spice collection than, yeah. than lip balm. And then under it is uh olive oil olive collection. Olive oil. That's really neat. It's olive oil from three different countries. Italy, oh, Greece, cool. and Spain. It'll be interesting to see how they differ. I bet because they, I don't know. I bet they all contain olives. This one is spicy. This one is oil. bright and peppery, and this one is fruity. Hmm. I've never had Spanish olive oil. Well, Wait. I know you like to experiment with your cooking. Yep, I do. This one's from you. Doggone right, it's from me. Do you know what it is? I don't know what any of these are. I'm sorry. What is it? <laughs> you beat yourself. Open it up and you'll know immediately. It's 
It's it's music. it's the piano book. It's all the sheet music from cool. Earthbound. Yeah, you um, you might notice a bit of a theme in some of your gifts this year. Um, theme. There might be a bit of a theme. You'll get there. You'll you'll, you'll it'll all make sense soon. Okay. Merry Christmas. So this is from Santa. There's actually two things in here. This is this is more nuts. Sea salt caramel, naturally flavored cashews. It's gonna be a nutty Christmas. They're actually there may there may be a Christmas vlog titled Nutty Christmas. I this is not the first year I've asked for nuts. I used to want to crack the room. Yeah, I, that that's the thing that's changed. So it's too time consuming to crack my own nuts. They must now arrive pre-cracked, so I have time to eat them. Oh my goodness, is this a shirt? I like this shirt! I like is it! Is it a lumberjacky enough? Yes, this is the style of plaid that I like. Good job! I like this a lot! This, uh, this reminds me of, um, I mean the lighting in here is a little warm, but like, it's, uh, it kind of reminds me of like the Nest shirt, like being yellow and blue, but it's obviously like really faded. But I guess this is more like you warmer. got the right plaid. I know. Yeah, this is this and is. I'm literally wearing it. Literally, I walked. I found that on a clearance rack because it's a summer shirt. Look at the. I left the tag on it because I didn't know what you were gonna say. Okay. Look at the, look at it. What, what? Look at the price. <clears throat> oh wow! <laughs> That's a pretty cheap shirt. And I bought one other other item, and I had a ten dollar off coupon. Wow! So they basic, basically did they pay you to, to take, take this take shirt? Store, yeah, <laughs> they basically did. So I was like, I'll well, take we, this, and I have a ten dollar off coupon. I was like, um, yeah. uh, oh, we owe you money. We are, if you don't like it, we're not out of anything. <laughs> That's what, that, well, you're in luck. You're in luck. I actually really like it. I look, and, look at the jeans you got on, actually. Yeah, I actually the I like this shirt. But I actually wish the plaid was bigger. So yeah. this is, yeah, I like this a lot. Thank you. <sighs> you did it. You, you got. You wanted to get me a shirt, and you did it. With and you didn't even get any help from me. Thank you. This is um from my dad and Rhonda. Oh okay. <laughs> oh wow. Goodness gracious. So there's there's multiple uh, packages inside, but there's also a card. It says, "How to wish you happy holidays" is right on the tip of my tongue. Sorry, it may be a little slobbery. <laughs> so it's a dog, and then that's really cute. That that might be one of the best cards I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> You've got more gifts than I do in here. Well, I'm the favorite child. <laughs> it's a book. It is a book. What kind of book is that? It's called Severance. Severance. The tagline is, it says, is it the end of the world or just another day at the office? Hmm. I will have to read through this. I haven't heard of it before. Well, now you have another book to read. Mm hmm It's a stay flat mailer. Perfect. And it says, handcrafted in Denver, 50 states travel journal. Hmm. A simple way to remember your experience is you travel through each of the 50 states. Some questions will ask you for simple details about your trip. Others will ask for a deeper reflection. So you have a map to like color in or check or whatever. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that is neat. And then, uh, so like here's Alabama. Arrival, departure. How did you get there? Who did you go with? What cities? Who did you see? Highlights, best moment, memorable thing you saw. How was the weather? That's a really so cool idea. They have that for every state. That's because really that's cool. So yeah, and well, it's also been one of our little goals. Uh, Mal, really, uh, both of us. I would love to be able to have gone to every state. Yeah, that's that's, really that's cool. something both of us actually want to do, and um, we've actually put together little maps of all the states that we have mm -hmm. been to, and at this point, we're not missing a ton. Mostly like west, like yeah, northwest except like Washington. Yeah, we we need to drive like. Montana. We need Idaho, to drive west Oregon. of uh, Wisconsin and see all the stuff Still out have there. To fill out all the ones I've been to. Yeah. Very that, cool. Yeah, that's a really yeah. That's a really neat book. We have. I'm not sure what this is. Ooh. 
there's a bit of a theme. Stephen, we hope you enjoy this sweet mustard from uh, Regensburg, Germany, traditionally served on a bun with three small sausages, but equally enjoyable as a pretzel dip. Love, Mark and Rhonda. I got lots of awesome mustards today, and I'm pretty excited about it. Wow. Man, I just... I just want to smell it. Oh my lord, it smells so good. Mm, you want to try some? I didn't want to try it, I want to smell it. Oh, lick the lid. Or don't, okay. No. <laughs> it's real hot smelling. Mm, I don't think so, it smells sweet. I mean, it's got mm. like, it's got the little... Horseradish? Yeah, the little... Bow, bow. Thank you. I'm, I'm very excited here, about that. that. I'll put it over here with your other with mustard. Because you're going to have to put that in the fridge since you opened it. Yeah, my mustard collection. And this... Oh, man! <laughs> Once you pop the fun, don't stop. This... Strawberry lemongrass. Ripe berries with a hint of ginger and lime. Is so it these jam are, or these is it jams. mustard? No, yeah, these are jams. Oh, wow. For breakfast stream. For, breakfast for stream, your toast. Which Mark and Rhonda have been a part of, actually. Strawberry lemongrass. Rosemary grapefruit. Ooh, wow. that's going to be my favorite. And banana jam. Oh, with wow. whole bean vanilla. That sounds really good. This this is awesome. Yum. This is really, really awesome. Breakfast I'm actually. Game, it's going to be very interesting. Yeah, I mean, um, we have, and we have a lot of like different coffees and stuff to try, and we've got all sorts of uh, jams. There might be, there might be a breakfast stream where I just have <laughs> pretzels and mustard too. It's totally a possibility at this point. Thank you both. This is uh, this is really really exciting. And then the the final package that they they sent says to Stephen and friends. And I'm not really sure what that could mean, but with Chefcon happening tomorrow, I guess getting a, a Stephen and Friends gift is very appropriately timed. And this is uh, Game of Phones, a unique card game that brings smartphones to the party with challenges like finding the best selfies, taking photos of other players, showing your worst or funniest texts. With over 100 cards and the whole internet in your hands, Game of Phones is endless fun whether you love or hate your smartphone. That's a cool oh, idea. Yeah. That's really neat. Mm. I have not heard of this, but I, I like the play on the the title. That's cool. Thank you guys. This is this is this is really great. And um, I'm excited to fill my belly with awesome stuff. Who is it it's from? Santa. Oh. <laughs> this it's is a big stock pot. Oh good. Because I had told Santa that I didn't have a big stock pot because mine is like six quarts. And Santa immediately said, I make toys. What kind of service you think I'm running here? I mean, Santa uses metal for toys. It's not that hard to make it into a stock pot. I'm really curious where Santa is sourcing the metal. But anyway, that's that's an ethical question for another time. Um, good. Now I can make extra soup. Yeah. <laughs> if there's one thing I've been thinking we needed, it was... More soup. Extra soup from the creators of soup. This is from me. This is from you? From me. Well, I am excited. It's kind of heavy. Whatever this is. Uh, what is in here? There is. Oh, interesting. Penzi's hot chocolate mix. So it's hot chocolate, but Penzi's made it. That's exciting. You want to try this with me, right? I would like to, yes. Please, please do. I, and uh, I assume it is very good because it's Penzi's. Yeah, Penzi's has made some really good spices. I assume that they can figure out hot chocolate pretty well. Um, I've been mixing, uh, we have we have some hot chocolate mix and I've been mixing it in with my coffee. And uh, I, would, I would do that to this. I would also just obviously drink it on its own too. Thanks, Mal. Uh, and this... Looks like it's also a Penzi's. Something. Oh my god! <laughs> so I went to get that one. Yeah. And the week I did that, that one came free. I thought maybe it was supposed to be a joke where I get this and then I'm like, oh, what could this big thing be? It's like, oh, it's the same. I mean, yeah, that's that's funny about it. Never talk to me or my son ever again. This is from Carly. <gasps> Carly! Guess what Carly got us for Christmas? I mean, I, I know what Carly got us for Christmas. 
It's a puppy! It's a pretty flat puppy. Well, you know, <laughs> it's a small puppy. Arf, arf! Look at that dog. Straight from the factory. What is that? These are packing cubes for your luggage. They're what? Packing cubes. Because I had a list of a bunch of like travel stuff that I wanted. You can take this bag with you to put dirty laundry in. Yeah. But it also holds the actual packing cubes. So you can like put different things in the cubes and put that in your luggage so you know like this one is all shorts or whatever. Oh, I see. It basically compartmentalizes yes. your suitcase. Yes. Oh, I see. That's so neat. You can like pull these out and put these in like a drawer of a dresser if you were going somewhere that had that. Hmm. So. Yeah, it's And like neat. you can take one and throw it like in a travel backpack. So if you were like going somewhere for the night during your trip but didn't want to take all your luggage. So. Hmm. That's a, that's a cool idea. Santa brought us chocolate pretzels from Utz's. Santa should know that that's very dangerous. Oh my lord. Oh, why would they design it this way where you have a lid where you can see them? There's so many. They look so good. I just couldn't resist. Oh my lord. Uh, well, <laughs> I gotta be careful with these because I eat all of them. You're gonna have a lot of people there to help you. Mallory, please do not let me open these before tomorrow. Like, I'll consume all of them and I'll be real sick. I know myself very well. If there's one thing I like, it's pretzels and chocolate. You're really having a hard time with that package. I think you got that same gift last year. Yeah, I think I got these last Oh, Mal! Warming mittens! We've received those every year from Santa for the last seven years. Santa would give us better quality warming bits if we get them every year. Mm -mm, no, it's just he wants us to throw the old ones out every year. We gotta get a new pair. It's close. Aww. It's a NASA shirt. Aww, that's a good shirt for you. It is. A sweater. Yeah, it's plaid but angled. But sideways. Well, if they're, if so they're diamonds. If you're if someone is falling off their bar stool, it might be right side up. This is to both of us, but um, I was informed that I should be the one to open it because it is a relevant gift. <laughs> yeah, it's relevant. Very relevant. It's very relevant. It's relevant uh, as often as twice a week. Uh, well, more often than that, but very important twice a week. Mal, do you know what it is based on that information? No. It's a brand new toaster! A toaster? It's a, a brand new toaster. One. It will do four slices of toast at once. It's got intuitive controls, seven toast shades, brushed stainless steel. Oh, this is fantastic. So I know that your toaster you have is crappy. I've seen it on your vlog. <laughs> <laughs> Our toaster does um, toast things to, to whatever it desires. <laughs> um, I, there's actually, I was I was actually talking to someone about this the other day, how when you put the toast in, you, there's a slider, but it, you don't use the slider. You don't trust that thing. So I just have it as low as it'll go, and the trick is... If, one and a half. Well, it's about one and a half. If the toaster is coming from a, a non-used state where it's cool, it's about 1.8 cycles. So you have to throw, go it through once, and then you have to count mentally you know, to a certain amount of time and then hit cancel. But if it's been going, it's warmer, so it's then it's closer to like 1.4 cycles. And if you put it on two, it is too burnt. Oh, Lord have mercy. It God, is so God burnt. God bless you and your food if you decide to go past whatever the far left mark is. Well, I was hoping that this might help you to get your breakfast <coughs> started on time. <laughs> Especially if we both toast. want toast. <laughs> wow. Thank you. Thank you, I appreciate this. That was one thing I thought up on my own. <laughs> <We're so laughs> it's true. Um, and I'm I'm the type of person that probably wouldn't have thought about it. I've just been like, yeah, toasters, this is just what toasters I are. I bought that but, a long uh, time. I had, I've had that gift for a long time. That was the first Christmas present I bought. Quite a oh, while really? ago. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> and well, then whenever you. I was asking, I was wondering if that was something you were going to tell me. And you all never did. So I was like, yes, I got <laughs> Nah, just one. nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Give me some nuts. So this one is from me. Uh huh. And it's got some things in it for you. It doesn't matter. 
they're literally all going to be experienced. Are you sure? <gasps> it's Gepu! It's Master Gepu! It's a Master Belch uh, yeah. figurine. We have we have some of the figurines. We don't have the full set. No. Um, but that was one that you had expressed specific interest in liking. Yeah. And um, well, you'll yeah the theme, the, <gasps> the theme, the theme. Trash can Saturn, Doctor Saturn. <laughs> I like trash can Saturn. Um, so the reason that there's a there's a few mother related things uh -huh. in here. Um, is just for the fact that, uh... You hinted at this yesterday, didn't you? Did I? I don't know, maybe. Um, it's just because, uh, this is our tenth Christmas together, it and is. I thought it was... I was thinking back to, like, things that brought us together ten years ago, and <laughs> Nothing it... Nothing that brought us together ten years ago. And it was Earthbound, and I thought giving you a few, like, Earthbound gifts would be appropriate for the tenth... Do I say something in a trash can? Yeah. Like, uh, like, what is it? Five years is wood and ten is, or uh, nine is silver and ten is earthbound. Something like that. Ten is earthbound. Yeah, ten is earthbound. This is a gift from Mal. It is extremely heavy. Isn't it heavy? It's really heavy. And it says Disney. Pensies! <laughs> it kind of looks like the Disney logo. I was like, oh, Disney! <laughs> it's... Foaming at the mouth. Oh my god. Careful, there's bay leaves and nutmeg in there. I mean, like, I get why, but also that's kind of weird. Well, it's like packing material. It's cute. It is cute. I have, uh, I've really enjoyed the Penzi spices. Like, when Mao, uh, when Mao wants to cook with something, sometimes she'll say, Steven, pick one of these. And then I'll get to, like, smell them. Well, I don't them. have, well, we have one of them. Yeah, we have the Cajun. Or we have Chicago. Yes. This, this one, oh my lord, this is so good. This one's so good. I don't want to break the seal on this, but um, this is, this quickly became one of my favorite seasonings ever. Um, I just, I can, I could just huff this. And you have. <laughs> and I have. Uh, I just really love the scent of this. Um, and I'm hoping And that I, I thought can... the rest of them would be really good too. They're all steak seasonings, but you can put them on whatever. Thank you, Mal. This is great, and also, just, and then it was a bigger container of yeah, the just having more of Chicago. Yeah, Chicago I thought one. you would appreciate you that. What's in that one? Yeah, what's all it? the ingredients and stuff. If you want to read it, yeah, this one I love that. I love that so much. Inside, we've got oh, it's another shirt. It's two shirts. I think it's funny that I decided to wear. Oh, it's oh, it's uh, it's clip. It's funny that I decided to wear this today. This one's better. Mm -hmm. Is this a longer sleeve or short yeah. sleeve? Long sleeve. I like it. This is uh, this is a really nice shirt. And then the other one. I know it's not exactly, but it looks like it has a denim look, and it'll be really good with blue jeans if you like it, it enough a, to wear it. It I is mean. a pretty shirt. Thank you. But I thought it looked like it would get good with denim or jeans. It, it definitely would. I know it's not the. Now, now not you're the gonna, right plaid. Now you're, now you're going to be plaid. scared for the rest of your life to ever buy me something that doesn't look exactly like this. Well, for years and years you used to like only them striped shirts, and then you kind of yeah the polo. Yeah, yeah. I went through you, you know, went through some style changes. Different, uh, different phases. Thank you. Uh, I don't, I don't have the slightest clue what this could possibly even be. Um, in, in less, and I'm hoping this is like an industrial size thing of mustard. Um, but we'll, we'll <laughs> for, for restaurant use. This is what they ship the Disney World. So now you said you know what this is. I know is. what this is. And it's for both of us. Yes. But you got to know what it is? Yes. Why'd you get to know this? Because I gave it as a suggestion that we both could oh. benefit from. So you're kind of in on this. Yes. Yes, because you certainly don't help me out. <laughs> hey, I said I wanted nuts, and I, I think I did mention passively wanting some mustards <laughs> and pretzels, and everyone did really well. This is a great Christmas. Oh, is this luggage? This is luggage. We carry the world. It's new luggage. Yeah, actually, we, we, could, use, we could use some luggage because we have, uh, we have a nice set, but we don't have a second nice set. We have one carry-on and one big one, Yeah. and when we go somewhere for longer than a short amount of time and we share, it's difficult. 
Yeah. Or if we go somewhere a short time and we could each use a carry on. Yeah. No, this is this is actually a great gift, especially for the fact that we already know that we're going to be doing <gasps> a fair bit of traveling exactly. next year. Yeah, she thought that was awesome. Thank you. Yeah, this is this is wonderful. And actually, we've really enjoyed the hard shell luggage that we have because we actually had several sets of soft stuff and just varying degrees of things happened to them. But the the hard, the hard shell stuff, really held up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who wrote that? You know who wrote that, don't you? Were they un uninitiated? You recognized that, didn't you? Oh, yeah. Okay, That's my grandfather's handwriting. I knew that as soon as I saw it. Put it back for a sec. He uh, had a very you know, specific way of, uh, of writing. I knew that as soon as I saw that. As soon as that was put on the ground, I got quiet. I was like, what is that? Why is that here? What is, what is going on? It's really cool. This is the, the last card from my grandfather. This is a little remembrance for someone who's always a pleasure to remember. Happy holidays, love, Pat. Thank you for keeping that. That was a that was a interesting surprise. Yeah, I knew. I, I knew Mal wouldn't get it. Mal was just like, I don't know what that is, and I'm like, I I I know what this is. Hmm. Didn't expect that. That was very nice. <sighs> and now, uh, this is a card for us that <laughs> reminds me to check my stockings. Because like, we forget every year. I know, I know. Um, and uh, this, is, this is for Mom and Dad. It says, Merry Christmas, son and daughter. Um, dear Stephen and Mal, uh, Life really is more beautiful at Christmas. It's so nice to picture the two of you at this lovely time of year, enjoying the festivities of the season, spending family time together, sharing warm moments. So grateful that such a wonderful son has such a wonderful someone to love. We love you both so very much. Wishing you all a very Merry Christmas. Enjoy your week with your friends. With love, Mom and Dad. Thank you. And I am glad that... Uh, I'm glad that you guys enjoy my friends. That means a lot to me, but also I'm glad that they enjoy you, and they are going to get a chance to enjoy you tomorrow. We've never had a, a friend event like this so close to Christmas. It's really, mm -hmm. it's really special. Well, we feel happy that you like to bring your friends around us. That means a lot to us. Well, you guys. Us. Well, I mean, you guys are awesome, and, and trust me, I've met, uh, I've met lots of. Adults, I've met lots of like people's parents, and uh, some of them aren't that great. <laughs> so I'm just gonna be real honest. Uh, so the fact that I have seen that and can recognize even more, especially as I got older, that I have really great parents, uh, makes me want to, you know, I don't know, show them off, have other people appreciate them too. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> this is a good segue into your gift. Uh, this is, listen, this is kind of, this is a little sad. Um, because this this has been super fun for both Mal and myself, and we've enjoyed opening all this stuff. And we don't have like a something that I think is fun to open. This is not fun to open. This is something that you desperately need, and I think that this is something that you will appreciate. But this is something that's not like oh wow candy. But you can have some of the candy you got me if that helps. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I, we saw this in, a, in, in one of the Sunday papers, and we clipped it out for you. It's a coupon, I think, that you could use. I think it would uh, I think it'd be really helpful. I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be afraid. Be excited. What? <laughs> what? 
we're taking care of your gutters. And I know that that's not an exciting thing. It's like, well, gutters, but uh, it's something you've needed to have done for a long time. And you had the roof done, and you're like, we well, you gotta get those gutters done, because if the gutters don't get done, then the other parts of the house that are having issues can't get fixed, and then the other parts of the house can't get fixed. Aww. So the gutters are the beginning of that, so we're gonna take care of the gutters Aww. for you. And again, that's not like a flashy thing, um, but I know that it's something you need, so um, we're gonna take care of that for you guys. Thank you. Thank you guys, that's so sweet. You don't need to do that. We'll get gutters. <laughs> well, you will now with this 100% off coupon. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, we, yeah, we saw that in the paper. We had to clip that immediately. That seemed that seemed like a deal too good to be true. I've never I, seen thought, one like that. I thought you were, it was about burial expenses. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> when you said you see it in the paper, I'm like, that's why I said I'm a little nervous. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'd like you alive and well to enjoy your gutters, uh, so, <laughs> if that's okay. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you, guys. Oh, you're that welcome. Was so thoughtful. You know how we put things off. Well, we don't. We don't want you to put the gutters off anymore. <laughs> that is good cheesecake, and that's that's from a box. What is what the it? Cheesecake Factory. It's the Cheesecake yeah. Factory brand. Yeah. I'm really surprised we don't have one here. Mm. We have Myrtle Beach everything. is perfect for yeah. it. Oh, yeah. It's very surprising that we don't have it. But yeah, it's uh, it's good cheesecake. You s and you said there's pie also. Mm -hmm. I have apple pie. How yeah. how are we supposed to eat pie if we're eating? Or is it because of tomorrow when we're gonna have so many people? It's whatever you want. If you want to have them, we're done. Or if you want to <laughs> no, crack, no, 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 no. <laughs> so much crack. Um, okay, well. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll probably just have this, and then we'll save some of the dessert for for tomorrow. Even though there's like six thousand cookies, so folks are gonna have Did so much. Did you taste to... the salted caramel? I haven't, and I will right the second because you mentioned it. Salted caramel is probably one of my favorite um, like flavor combinations. This is good, but it's not like really extremely sweet, or mm -hmm. you know what mm -hmm. I mean. It's not like gaggy mm -hmm. sweet. I like it because it's not sweet. Like no. Mm -hmm. This is really good. I'm really looking forward to the entire week, but I'm 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 really looking forward to tomorrow. And today's already been so good. It has been. It's been an awesome day. Thank you guys for everything. Oh, no problem. Thank you. Everything has been really fantastic. Got all these mustards. Got all these pretzels. Got all these other things. I'm excited. I'm really excited. This is this is the best Christmas ever. I I truly believe that. <laughs> Finishing the day with little tiny sandwiches, and this time a bonus of little tiny pickles. I got myself a uh, a slug of mustard, and it's it's good. What? I mean, that's the most apt word for it, but it just makes it sound so gross. Well, that's what they call it. Uh, that's it's the most apt word. It's a it's, good word for it. It's just ugh. it's scientific, I think. Right? Is that what? slug of mustard? Because it looks like a slug. Mm -hmm. Oh, slug. I thought you said a plug. A hmm. plug of mustard. What was that noise? That works too. What? I thought it was just something creaking. It sounded like something hit something. <sighs> call Goose Whisperer now. <laughs> Who are you going to call? Yeah. Goose Buster. Ladies and gentlemen, the the sandwiches are over, the pickles are done. I can't eat another bite. I'm I'm already worried that I overdid it a little bit, but thank you. It it truly was like the best Christmas ever. Mm -hmm. I, I we've had such a good time today. It was really fun. And it all started early early this morning cuz we did Very early. breakfast stream mm -hmm. over here. It and was a wonderful day. We it was a good it, day. Every bit of it. And everything was so pretty. Because mm -hmm. uh, we don't have any decorations <laughs> for Christmas. Um, but we'll see you tomorrow. Yep, looking forward to it. And we will have so many the stinking... The will be here. The entire... <laughs> Stephen and friends yep. will be here. Um, I'm just I'm just going to go ahead and end the vlog here also. Because um, uh, we're, we're basically going to go home and go straight to bed. Yep. I am exhausted. And it's not even that late. We got some things to put away yet, but then, yeah. And then we'll go to bed. Uh, Merry Christmas to all of you. Happy Holidays. I hope that you had a wonderful day as well. And um, stay tuned because there's a lot of fun activities coming. 
next week? Yeah, I'm I'm excited, but right now I'm too tired to be fully excited. So I gotta I gotta I gotta get some sleep. Yeah. Thanks again. Merry Christmas to you. And uh let's meet back tomorrow. Shall we? Actually you guys yeah, what you do it. What well, that makes more sense. Sorry, go ahead. Let's meet back tomorrow, shall we? <laughs> you you got there.